Okay, welcome back to the letter and um, here's where we'll be doing the, we have like reached almost the conclusion. Yeah, we're pretty close to the conclusion of uh, chapter one. Uh, what I thought is this episode will be a bit short, most likely, not even an hour, unlike the others. Um, but I'm planning to show the gallery and the extras what we've got here. I mean, it looks pretty nice to see what all we have got in store. Anyways, that said, let's just jump right ahead and continue. Don't look at me like that. I can act graceful as well if I want to. <laughs> well, where's your owner anyway? Well, if you don't have one, I won't be able to take you in. My apartment doesn't allow pets. I tried to bring one home before, a cat. Not black, of course. <sighs> and Rebecca threw a fit before the landlady could. <coughs> D do you want one? Barufia! Sorry, did my cat hurt you? Miss Santos, was it? I'm surprised to see you here. Nice to meet you again, Miss Makala. Were you harmed in any way? I'm sorry. Brufield's not exactly fond of other people. Even run away from the veterinarian right now. Oh no, he was just sniffing my hand earlier. My Brufield's a she. Model of the story, don't assume genders, even of cats. Um, I'm just curious about about your work. What about it? I I just want to know how it is to work on a house like the Ermengarde Mansion. Is it hard? Because of its age? I wouldn't say it is. It is a challenge considering the factors me and my team have sought out, but it's a good project. A breath of fresh air from what I usually work on. And I have a good team. Those original fittings, though. It might be old, but the architecture is magnificent. I'm sure you've seen the stained glass windows in the foyer. Oh, I can already think of so many things I could do with it. But of course, my team will have to double check for necessary repairs here and there. That's probably for the best. It's easy to break some key elements with a rush restoration job, and who knows what other hidden issues there might be underneath. People can be so careless. I'm sorry, I spoke too much. No, it's okay. You seem to really love what you're doing. It's not really like that. I'm just lucky to have found work in an interesting field. Uh, anyway, Bruthiel's due for her visit to the vet. Nice talking to you, Miss Santos. I wish you luck with what you're planning to work on. It seems like a big project too. It's a project for a friend, actually. All the same, good luck. By the way, about the Irmingard Mansion, with my clients, it's the rights, I mean, I hope you don't mind me asking, but has the deal been finalized? There's still a few papers they need, but the house is more or less theirs now. Ah, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Wait, I... about the mansion, the, uh... me. I need to go too. Have a good day, Miss McCullough. Yeah. 
There we go. Uh, so at this point, we're going to hide status with Marianne. Zack and Ashen's pretty high. Stable with Hannah and Luke, not much of a change. Rebecca's gone low. In other local news, a woman was found dead in her home yesterday evening. Oh, okay. Luxborn police officials are currently investigating the crime scene, but has classified the case as homicide. The victim, identified as Rose Pamela Cooper, 33 years old, working as a real estate agent. I knew it. Her fashion, fashion sense was atro- I mean, her fashion sense was atrocious. No one she died in those clothes, you know. Damn it, Rose. Discovered lying in a pool of blood in her two-bedroom flat with the words help me repeatedly written on the walls. Whoa, okay. Al Slam Butcher, that's what we're calling it now. I'm willing to bet this is Ashton's big case, solving this series of murder. Murders. See, I was right. I knew it. Rose was going to die. Wait a second, wait a second. We didn't show the letter to Rose, but no wait, Rose saw the letter. She gave it back in my hand. Irrespective of what choice you chose. What choice you choose, Rose gets to see the letter. She sees the letter no matter what. Uh that has plagued Luxborn in the recent years. The authorities are currently looking at a possible link with the notorious Anselm Butcher case. The latest trouble started in Hackney in the east of the city late this afternoon before spreading to Lewisham, Peckham, and now in the last hour, the Luxborn Police Department has confirmed that the Anselm Butcher case has been reported. In light of the recent uh, events, there will be an all staff emergency meeting from 1 to 2 pm. Attendance is a must, company changes, new hierarchy, hierarchy, and policies will all be discussed during the meeting. Everyone is expected to bring a copy of their own attendance logs and sales, sales reports for the last six months to be submitted to your respective managers for review. We are expecting everyone's cooperation. Okay. Mm. Considering all this god damn it seems important. Um uh I'm pretty sure there's a thought about it. I mean there's something about this situation. Anyways, um we'll save this here. Yeah. yeah. I I feel the best thing to do would be Damn, what would it be? I feel the best thing is to stay at home. 
she's an emotional person, you know, a crybaby and all this, but anyway, she's emotional and she's suffering a lot right now. I feel it's best if she stays at home, but they will understand, she was just working with kids. I mean, not too long ago, she just sold a huge profit, made a huge sale with Rose. So, I think she's justified to stay at home. So, I will choose to go to work and then go back and will choose to stay at home. I'm sure you've all heard of what happened to Miss Cooper. She was a valued member of our team and she will be missed. There's no date for a funeral, yet, but those who wish to attend, kindly speak with your respective supervisors. By the way, has anyone heard about our still AWOL staff? Uh, yeah, that's what I would wanted to talk about. The AWOL staff. Yeah, I'll discuss about that afterwards. None? HR, you know what to do. Santos, a word? In my office? I got Rose's work because I went to the office. The Luxbon Police Department continues its search for the following reported missing people. They're all connected because that's what I was thinking about. Like, she mentioned about the dude called Mark earlier. Rose mentioned about this Mark dude. And Isabel mentioned that uh, she's not seen him after the first day at the mansion. And he was apparently a goose like, uh, I mean, like a wimp like her. Uh, so. So they assume he just ran off because he didn't want the project or something I see. Anyways. So it's just like people have gone into the mansion of the ones who are missing. That's why they got a lot of missing employees. They kept sending people to the place to sell the place off. But people were either going missing or would not go back to work or whatever. And thus it ended up being with Isabella. I mean that's my take on it. Interesting, so it means they've all seen the letter or something at some point. But Rose is... I need to! No, if it's like this, they still won't believe me. I have to make sure of it first. Ah, so we're gathering evidence to show it up Ash's face. I mean, we got a pretty amazing relationship, mind you. Should I get ready for something now? <sighs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, look at the paper. Something is missing. The part which I found amusing, the part which I laughed at, that's missing. I'm sorry, let's look at the journal. Good damn it, it covers it up. Wait. I could have sworn it was send this to five people or else. 
Where is that part? Anyways. That's not there. I'll send this to five people or show this to five other people or else but let that get gone. Why? I mean Oh god, what the hell? Oh wow, she's right there. Oh great. Oh great. <laughs> oh no, I didn't ask for this. Oh god, this is supposed to be a horror game. God damn it. This is something I have to do now, right? Wait. I can do this. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? God damn it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Oh god, no. God damn it. Continue obviously, but I have a feeling I'm gonna take the entire time with this. Okay. Okay. God damn it! God damn it! Our fuck give us and lead us. Yeah, it's 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 not like a jump scare scare as such, but god damn it. Why do I suck at this? Oh, I did it. 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 I'm gonna save this no matter what. Oh my god. I survived. One second. What just happened? Uh, uh, we just started the second chapter. Did I choose the right option and I'm alive? Should have on. Okay, ending one. Interesting. So I have three possible ending. Oh wow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save that. Here. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. I don't want want to do that game again. I mean that bit again. Uh. Let's choose the other one, shall we? We just should go to work and that's successful. I, I thought staying at home is more sensible. Actually.
Becca's calling. Hey there. How, uh, how are you feeling? Good morning, Becca. Just, I just want to check on you. I heard the news. How are you doing? Becca, Rose, Rose, she. Shh. It's okay. This is. I know. I'm sorry. I know how much she means to you. No, you don't understand. This is what I've been telling you guys. What you've been telling? All right, all right. Tell you what. Why don't we eat dinner together today? I heard the diner near your office is serving your favorite today. My treat. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, I don't need this option anymore. So. Yeah. Um. I decline her offer. Because I want to meet up with her. Definitely, definitely. So I will uh, decline her. No, no! I'm not at the office! Ugh, never mind! We're not safe! Not anywhere! Wow, that attitude is just gonna die, girl. What are you talking about? And don't shout! I was just inviting you to help take your mind off things! The letter! Oh, we got a negative Rebecca, didn't we? No? Yeah, I'm okay, fine. This again? Ghosts aren't real, Isabella. They're just stories made up to scare children. You're always saying that, but look what happened to Rose. I know what I saw. The police says it's a homicide case. Didn't you see what's in her room? That's not something another human being would do. Come on, Rebecca. You have to believe me this time. Isabella, I know you're in shock, but you have to wait for the authorities' findings. You can't just make assumptions based on some stupid letter you picked up somewhere. You're still not going to believe me. Even if someone else already died, no? You know that's not what I'm trying to get at. Oh, is this the game's way of saying that someone doesn't have to die for them to believe the point? Because initially I thought that Isabella would be like the first one to die and because of that, they'll just get panicked and then, you know, the investigation and all the data. But then we came to the Ash is a detective, so... This case was a match up in his concern and love for Isabella might help. Oh. Is this a hint game saying that nah, Isabella can live, someone else can and die or something? What if Zach comes next? Or Ashton? Or you? Did you see what she did to Rose? We're all completely powerless against her and you still won't listen! Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Isabella, enough already! Where are you anyway? At home? Duh. Of course you're at home. I'm coming over. The Luxbon Police Department continues its search for the following reported missing people. Oh, so she discovers the... Same thing, so um, maybe there might be another game here. I'm gonna make mini thingy to escape. But Rose is. Whoa. Oh. Rebecca came. You didn't have to come over, you know. You have classes tomorrow, don't you? And I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to yell. Oh, I, so I, I just didn't want what happened to Rose to happen to you, Zach and Ashton. I wouldn't forgive myself. I think... I think I figured out something too. Listen. Rebecca, sorry. I need to answer that. I've skipped work today. Rose is gone and my boss is probably beyond furious. No doubt that's him calling. Rebecca? What's gotten into you? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wait, what? I unlocked a memory fragment by dying? Oh. 
I picture. These were the people who were in the mansion, right? Like, like the owners. She's a servant. Is she the ghost? And she's got black hair, and she's wearing a maid's costume. Interesting. There's the Genesee I die. Okay. Not much. Mm-hmm. Oh, we just we just jumped right into it, aren't we, Hannah? But I have no interest to start off with Hannah. Um there was one more option we left, right? Yeah, we meet up with her. This is what I thought of going with. Okay, okay. I'll meet you after school. So long as you don't make me pay, okay? I've already treated you to free food the other day. <laughs> you know I'm not like that. If there's anyone who should be complaining here, it's me. But promise me you'll stay safe, all right? Did we, like, mend our relationship with Becca? No, still the same. What's gotten into you? I don't think that's necessary, considering I'll be at school the whole day. I'll wait for you here, understood? Don't be late. I can only stay until... Promise me. If something bad happens, you'll run and... The Luxbon Police Department continues its search for the following reported missing people. Becca, I'll... I'll call you back. There's something I have to look up. Wait, Isabella, what are you... But Rose is Yeah, all this I need to tell some She has to tell someone. Zach, Ash, Zach, Becca. Oh. Then why would you take it, god damn it? Oh great, I should get ready. No! Enough! How can I possibly help you? I couldn't even help myself. Or the or the people I dragged into this! This glass? That's Isabella? It looks so different. God, I mean, obviously. Uh, I mean, just start off with Hannah. Wow. Yikes. Um, I ended up throwing my microphone. Uh, wow, okay. Um, let's look at... Oh, no, we're not going to check that at all. I'm at 89%. I see. Hmm.
interesting so this one's like a death ending ending one she lives ending two she dies ending three there's no skull there's no skull so she's alive so which ending am i going to go with which route see this for my first playthrough i want maximum relationship status and i feel like i've achieved that with is about the maximum possible relationship status like even with Zack it's at peak the only one whom I couldn't get a peak with is Rebecca because if I get a peak with Rebecca I don't get a peak with Zack nor Ashton two people so I'd rather get a peak with two people than with one and I favor Zack a whole lot I mean not Zack I favor Ashton a whole lot more right now with Isabella today for a nice fun rap going on so we'll keep it that way um, the part which I feel is not complete is me being a negative per- I mean um, terrible pro- um, my lack of professionalism because I feel it affects Hannah's relationship st- ship status or something I do not know uh, I can only just it out when I play that route so I'm keeping that for later and in that point, uh, point of time I have to lie to Ash too because I'm curious about how that would play out as well if you were an ass to Ashton and lie to him if I don't it's just one point right I guess so just for that one point then I will load back and I will go on the positive Ashton route because I seem to like that a lot and I'll test out this one point and then maybe I'll make my keep myself alive because I want to see how it affects for Hannah we have our own branches here. How many endings are there for Hannah? We got one, two, three endings again. So this last lock is basically next chapter. Interesting. Okay. Mm. And what does our journal have so far about the timeline? Yeah, we're familiar about this, the book. Since this is what we're going to go with. We're going to the movies, yeah. Her family. See the ghost going out with Ashton. Meeting, meeting the cat. Rose Cooper dying. And Isabella thought she'd meet Rebecca, but then something happened so clearly I do not want to go for the ending which involves Isabella being dead so I'll either go with ending 1 or ending 3 question is which one hmm I think I'll go with ending 3 yeah I don't know. I feel like there's something important here because she found out that all the employees who visited the mansion were the ones killed. Forget the fact that they were missing from the same company. In fact, that they were the ones who visited the mansion who died. Um, but I feel like maybe Ashton can figure that shit out on his own. He's a detective. Rebecca or someone can do it. I, I don't know. Um... I would have said Rose, but then Rose is the first one to die, so I think I'll go with ending three for now and when I'm um doing my next playthrough again, at the time I will take ending one. So for now ending three is what I've chosen for her. Yeah. And I'll save it here. Because that's what I'm playing, yeah? I'm playing this route. I'll get back to this route later on. Yeah. So these three are like, I won't touch these routes. This is basically my lack of professionalism. That's if I decide to meet up with Zach. I mean, yeah, the priest route. And this is I am alive. 
I think these two would be moot if I go for this or the work, but leave it. This is what I'm playing right now, so I can just keep playing along with these load files. I have a lot of space to save my load files, so that should not be an issue. Anyways, um, we finished looking at the journals and all, so yeah, let's go to the main menu. And let's look at um, news. Wonderful, amazing. Okay, you know what? I I kind of regret clicking here. I, it ended up taking me to a different page and closing everything. Um, so not much. Just the Kickstarter for another game. Interesting. Extras. Oh, these are my achievements. So we got a first decision. We passed the letter. Mm -hmm. What's this? sudden anime but but that was cute um amanda lee isn't she the person who um sings cover songs I lied to you and everyone I 
I like how they kept what the heck. <laughs> Just last week comments. <laughs> Luke is a pill and the Lenny face twice. There's one for Hannah. I'm playing the Hannah route now, right? So let's see how that goes. Anyways, um as I was saying Nick tips, so one was that horror factor as such. But the pro to um pros to contrast this particular con are I've been an amazing story with wonderful characters, fleshed out characters. So that's the plus. Um the second negative point I had was about the choices, I guess. Um I'm not sure how exactly do I put it. It's like um Oh, uh, what you say? Not this. Instead of the load save feature, since obviously we're using the load save feature to the max, why can't we just trace our steps back and go wherever we want on this branching map? It's not a con per se. It's just more of a beef for me. So it's just like a suggestion, I guess, if they plan to make a future game. I guess. Oh uh, yeah, like you can just click here and go back once you've played it, you know, and get to choose again. After we have the red lines to show which route we are on, so that's another thing. Um, yeah, my third beef is um the monologues. Yeah, we just finished the first chapter, and I'm pretty sure the first chapter is like the shortest and simplest to complete. Out of all, so and I found the monologues a bit too much, and I can assume, safely assume, 
that the later chapters will have longer monologues which seem a whole lot unnecessary. I don't need to describe the scene. I can see it in front of me, this beautiful art. I would rather spend my time staring at that art with actual dialogues being played along instead of reading a description of what is being depicted. That's um, the thing. Apart from that, it's pretty lovely so far. So, so the extras. So, gallery. Uh, backgrounds for chapter 1. Yes, we got 100% everybody. We've gotten all the backgrounds. Interesting. All the item sprites. And all the CG effects. Look at the phone just drop. That's so beautiful. The lights of the vehicle. That is so good. Wait, I'm not done staring at these. Light, the light, nice. This is pretty lovely. Rebecca's lucky. She gets two. I think it's because we maxed out with her. Whereas in these cases, it's not a max relationship bar. Damn, this is gorgeous. We got a memory fragment. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have seven chapters and eight. So one memory fragment per chapter is my assumption. Interesting. I get what they say about the branch, seeing the branches and the branches being like a sort of uh, spoiler because you know what to do, where to go and you can choose and you're not going to go with your first choice if possible, if you know what's there ahead. Which makes sense. Like see, my first choice for the Isabella route was to stay at home and to meet up with Rebecca. Now I know that Isabella can live and she's got important information. I could have chosen for her to go to work and continue the game as such. Which I will be doing later on, not now. I decided, you know what, for this entire playthrough, I will go with what my gut tells me, except for relationships. Relationship questions, I will make it all go on the positive side of things. Make sure that all the relationships are like on the plus side and try to avoid negatives as much as possible. And endings, I will go for what my gut tells me, like what I felt I ought to go for, I will go for that till the end and nothing else. One thing though, if I click a new game, will they do something? I've not seen this church in the game. Is it just for me to come and pray and confess my sins here before I start off the game? <laughs> That'd be cute. Uh, I like the graphics, the gameplay. It's a visual novel, so there's not much in terms of gameplay. I like that they added uh, this rapid pressing thingies to give you that adrenaline rush. Because if it weren't for that, I won't get that excitement. You know, I won't feel my heartbeat hammering. Unless I know that there's something that have to be has to be done, right? Like I'm pressing, jamming the keys as quick as possible. And that that is a pretty nice thing. Let me 
skip stops at under text. Oh, I I could have just left it on skip throughout instead of stopping in between. It's for all under text, so it means we have not skipped any um, text we hadn't read before. So that that's good. Instant skip, classic skip. Oh, we're going for the classic skip where you can still see things a bit. Yeah, I don't want an instant skip. It seems like a jump. I mean, that's the point of a skip to jump, but I'd rather keep that classic in case there's something I want to have a look at again. Tick speed is pretty nice. Autoplay delay. Okay, I'm not using that. Character volumes. Everything's pretty cool. Game play. Oh my, I can skip that thing. They're normal difficulty, not easy. And it's pretty good. I think we'll keep it this way. Unless I really, really, really struggle with something. Which hopefully should not be an issue. So, with that said, I think we're done with this. In the next episode, I'll start off with Hannah. We'll be reading the journal. So, I think in the journal, we can access and see her description. We'll have a look at her relationship status. And we'll get to it. Thanks for being a good sport and watching so far. Adios.